Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Kundalini by Candlelight. My name is Kathleen Osman. This evening, we'll be working with the Ajna Stimulation Kriya. This Kriya works to stimulate our glandular system balance, especially the pituitary gland associated with the sixth chakra. There's actually a statement on this Kriya that states when we're beginning, a beginning student, so to speak, or, or a student that's just new to Kundalini, uh, can practice this Kriya once or twice a week, but no more than that is a glandular tune-up. So even those of us that may be more seasoned, I suggest that if you really love this Kriya and you really enjoy it, please take heed and do not practice it more than twice a week, okay? Lots of others to choose from. Come back next week if you really like it. Practice it again. What? But just be aware. The, it's nothing too overly uh, busy, but we like to heed cautions when given. So let's start by finding ourselves seated comfortably. In my case, on my bolster. In your case, on your mat, on the floor chair, whatever you find most comfortable. Hands on the thighs or on the knees. Close down the eyes. Feel the shoulders fall away from the ears towards the ground. And turn your focus to your breath. We're just noticing our inhales and exhales. No judgment. We're just noticing. Are we perhaps breathing deeply today? we being the yogi that we truly are in our hearts and breathing deep into our belly? Or are we breathing just into our chest? One is not better than the other. We just notice. Find a method of breath that works best for you. For me, I'm a seasoned in and out nose breather as I practice yoga. And during my regular day, I'm a seasoned in and out mouth breather. Who would have thought? Whatever works. Just find yourself feeling more relaxed and more comfortable. If the thoughts and to do lists invade your mind, just gently say release. Or my favorite thing to say is put them in a cloud them float away. They'll be back when the time is right. So again, we're breathing deeply, feeling the ribs rise with the inhale, fall with the exhale. Finding gratitude to ourselves for taking time out for you to just spend with yourself. So much going on these days in the world. COVID-19 things, craziness. Just absolute utter craziness. So I'm glad that you took the time for you. It's very important. If we don't look after ourselves, we can't look after everyone else. So let's bring the hands gently together. Rubbing. Settle the hands at heart center. Feel the shoulders drop away from the ears, eyes close down, and the focus behind closed eyes is in between the eyebrows and slightly above, right there. We open each Kundalini class with a mantra, Ong, O-N-G, Ong, Namo, Gurudev, Namo. It translates to, I bow to the teacher with it. We chant this mantra three times before each Kundalini practice. I like to take two full, deep inhales and exhales before I begin. So let's do that now. Inhale deep into the belly. Exhale. Again, inhaling very deeply. Exhale. to begin.
times. Om Namo Guruji Namo Last time. Om Namo Guruji Namo Inhale and deeply. Hold the breath. Slowly, gently relax the breath. Hands coming down to the sides. A little bit about Ajna Stimulation Kriya. It works to gently stimulate and balance our glandular system, especially the pituitary gland, which is associated with the sixth chakra. There is a caution though that beginning students should only practice this Kriya once or twice a week, but no more as a glandular tumor. So with that said, let's move to our pranayama. Today we're gonna to do 20 second breath. We sit in easy pose with a nice straight spine. We place the right thumb at the side of the Jupiter finger or index finger. The rest of the fingers stay straight. We rest the wrist on the right knee. The palm faces the left side, okay? So it's facing towards your left leg. We make a fist with the left hand, the thumb facing upward, and we place the left hand on the chest at the location of the heart. We're going to try and breathe three times in a minute. Okay, 20 seconds for each breath. That means we try to inhale over a 10 second time frame and then exhale over a 10 second time frame. That being one third of the minute. And then we repeat that two more times. So eyes are closed and we will begin. a full minute, three breaths within that one minute time frame. Count on your own if you find that more comfortable. I have here in my little yoga studio a clock where I can hear the beat of each take and tells me count. So let's settle in, eyes closed, and for the next two minutes we're going to try and take six slow seconds in, 10 seconds out, and we'll begin in 3, 2, and 1. Exhale. 
feet right down to the thigh. And exhale. Gracefully releasing the hands to the thighs. Eyes remain closed. We take a moment. Personally, I find after that particular breath that you are centered, more calm, less eager to go off a thousand miles an hour. And even if you do feel like you're ready to go off a thousand miles an hour, good for you. You'll be centered, you'll be focused, you'll be ready to go. You can do this breath anywhere, anytime. No necessarily need to close your eyes or even follow the hand movements. Just sitting quietly, closing down the eyes, breathing in for 10 and out for 10 will help you focus and rid yourself of a little bit of stress. So let's go to our warm-ups before we start our Kriya. Our first warm-up is neck rolls, dropping right ear to right shoulder. You inhale as the neck circles across the back. Exhale as it comes across the front. Take your time here. This is not a race. Now, if neck rolls aren't in your practice for whatever reason, you don't find them comfortable at all, option, turn the head to the right and then to the, I did that backwards, I'm so sorry. Turn the head to the left on the inhale and right on the exhale. Either way. Choose what option works best for you. And whether you're twisting with neck rolls or turning right and left, bottom body stays tall. Tummy is tight. We're sturdy. We're long in the spine. Only the neck is moving. Find your rhythm. Now coming back to center, whether we're doing neck rolls or twisting, option. Uncross, recross the legs. This time, those of us doing neck rolls are dropping left ear to left shoulder. Inhaling as we circle across the back. Exhaling across the front. If we're twisting our neck, we are now inhaling to right. Exhaling to left. For both options, keep the lower body tall, sturdy. Deep inhale and exhale. Okay, so for our next exercise, we move to twists. Now, in twists, our hands come to the shoulders, fingers in front, thumbs in back. Take a look to behind you. You don't want to knock over anything. In my case, my candle. In anybody else's case, there could be things behind you that might get in the way of your upper body twists. So just take a quick look. Make sure you're clear on both sides. We're going to twist left on the inhale, twist right on the exhale. And we're going to begin in three, two, one. Pull the tummy in tight to the spine, okay? Hold the bottom body steady. You may have noticed that I uncrossed and recrossed my legs. I tend to like right leg on bottom, which is what I often suggest that we switch because it's always good to try new things. So option again, close your eyes. Notice your internal experience. Notice what's happening in your body as you're moving. It could be just as subtle as you're noticing, hey, I'm holding my tummy in much better than I used to. Or maybe you're feeling a gentle, really awesome stretch as you twist from one side to the other. There's no judgment, it's not a big deal, we're just taking time we have six seconds left. Coming down to center, hold those arms up nice and tall, tummy tight, deep inhale. Exhale. 
Release the hands gracefully to the thighs. Eyes closed. We take a moment. And for the next exercise, we're going to move to cat and cow. So we come up on hands and knees and begin in tabletop position. Tabletop position is knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Options here. If you're like me, I have arthritis in my hands. I tend to make a fist thumb inside with my hands and put those fists down on the ground. If you are okay with flat open palms, down they come onto the ground. On the inhale, belly comes down low. Chest comes between the shoulders, head looks up. It's almost like somebody's sitting on your back. And then as you exhale, arch the vertebrae high, 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 like an angry cat on Halloween. Inhale down. Exhale up. This is an awesome flow exercise. Find your individual rhythm. Feel the wonderful stretch of the spine back and forth as you inhale up and down. back to a neutral position that means we stop the up and down movement of the back we take a deep inhale and we curl the toes under push the hips up towards the ceiling <laughs> I just realized I still have my socks on <laughs> all right well I'm gonna take my socks off pardon me there we go coming back to our position we're gonna drop one Heel at a time towards the ground. Feel the stretch in the calf muscle. Holding tall, hips are high, and then we'll lift both heels at the same time. Slowly drop them towards the ground as close as you can get them. Release the head between the arms. Push into the hands. Raise the hips a tiny bit higher. Take a deep breath. Time. Beautiful. Slowly walking feet towards hands and hands towards feet. When we get to our feet, a little bit of the little bit of bend in the knees. So we like to call that a micro bend in the knees. Feel the upper body rest on the thighs. Now, if you're comfortable here. Release the arms, cross at the elbows. Just make sure that you feel steady in the feet. And from here, we release the head down towards the ground, still feeling comfortable. Now, if you can't put your arms like that or you don't feel safe, options. Hands on the thighs for support. Release your head. You can even put hands on shins. Whatever works for you. Release the head. Nod the head, yes. Shake the head, no. Feeling again the belly on the thighs. Just relax, take a deep breath. Feel the ribs expand, exhale. Beautiful. Releasing the arms down to the thighs above the knees if your hands are not already there. We're gonna slowly roll up to a count of eight, seven, six, five, Four, head is the last to come up, two, and one. Beautiful. We move to standing triangle. Legs are wide, much wider than hip width apart. I'm gonna move over a tiny bit, because again, we're checking to make sure that we have room. Arms out at shoulder height. We inhale, exhale, tilt the right arm down, the le right leg, left arm comes up tall center, other side. Try and keep the arms straight like there's a crowbar from one to the other. Tummy is tight. Find your rhythm. Back and forth. Option. 
option if you feel comfortable. Close the eyes. Enjoy the feeling. Fifteen seconds left. up to center. Arms out straight, deep inhale. Exhale, beautiful, releasing the arms down. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Just to try it, because it's fun. So now let's move to, what are we gonna do? Let's do tree pose. Step forward with the right foot. Spread the toes nice and wide. You want a strong set of roots to your tree. Move the weight to the right side. I'm gonna step back a bit so you can see me. There we go. Moving the weight into the right foot. Toes are spread nice and wide, strong trunk to your tree. A little bit of a bend in the knee. We don't wanna overextend the knee. Lift the left foot off the floor. Bring it to the ankle, to the shin, or to the thigh, not to the knee joint. I'm gonna stay at the ankle just because I'm still about the new metal. So we start with hands at heart center. Feel nice and tall. Find a point on the floor six to eight feet in front of you that does not move. So please don't choose somebody else. Find something that's non-living, shall we say, or is not going to move. Concentrating on that point, tummy tight, shoulders back. Like pointed out, nice and tall, we breathe. Focusing on that particular point on the floor sometimes helps us hold ourselves steady. Balance changes from day to day and from side to side. What may seem like kindergarten one day will wind up being rocket science the next. And there's really no way to tell what it is that's going to cause that. It's just another fun challenge. So deep inhale. Turn that bent knee forward. Step forward and we step out. Release the hands. A little bit of a shake. And now let's move to the left leg. Left leg steps forward, spread toes nice and wide. A little bend to the knee. Feel strong in the roots of your tree. Transfer the weight to the left side, lift the right foot off the ground and to the ankle, to the shin, or to the thigh, not to the knee joint. Again, I'm going to put mine on the floor because I'm just not comfortable enough. Do what works for you. Doesn't mean anybody's is right or wrong. Again, find that same focal point on the floor that you were looking at with our right leg as tree trunk. Hands begin at heart center. Options now. Start with hands at chest. If that's comfortable for you and you want another bit of a challenge, lift the arms up above the head. And if you're still finding that easy option to take your arms out to the side and bloom your tree while still watching that spot on the floor. Breathe deeply and evenly. We have about 15 seconds left. Stand tall, tummy tight. Pull the shoulder blades together in the back if your arms are in room. Slowly bring our hands back together above the head if they are in that fashion or leave them at chest level. Deep inhale. Exhale, beautiful. Move the right knee forward, we step out and we shake that out. Now let's come back down. We go back to our forward fold, of hands on the thighs. We bend forward until the upper body hangs towards the ground. The option here to release your hands to the floor if that's comfortable for you. If not, leave your hands on your thighs. 
We're now gonna move back to downward dog, stepping the legs back. Hips are up high again. Deep breath here. And we exhale down to tabletop. Now from here, we're gonna sit back on the heels. Stretch the arms out in front. Puppy pose. And full breath here. And then we're going to pull forward, drop the belly towards the ground, look up. Come back again, puppy pose. And move forward. Beautiful. Find your rhythm, take your time. This does not work for you and you find one or the other pose more comfortable, feel free to stay in that pose. And if neither one work for you, option again to sit comfortably in child's pose. With the eyes closed, imagining yourself doing it perfectly. Last time for me. Down, stretch the arms. Beautiful. Coming back to seated cross leg position on our mat. We're going to move to our Kriya now. So, for the first exercise in our Kriya, we are actually standing. We're going to stand up tall. Once you have yourself nice and tall, feet shoulder width apart, find yourself steady, hands just hang. We're actually going to drop our head back, looking towards the ceiling. And here we're instructed to begin breath of fire. Now breath of fire is where the inhale really takes care of itself. On the exhale, we pull the belly button towards the spine. So it sounds like this. You can see the belly button pulling in on each exhale. Now, if you're pregnant or menstruating, please stay with long, deep breathing. We do not want you doing breath of fire, okay? So hands are calm. I can't speak today. Hands just gently at the side. Head looks up. Let me check my timer. Three, two, one. No instruction with the arms, they just hang at the side. Make sure the muscles of the legs are tight, slight micro bend in the knee. Hold your body steady as we continue to breathe. We are halfway there, 30 seconds left. Chest with fresh energy, fresh prana. Hold a breath. Stand tall. Exhale. Beautiful. Standing with your hands crossed, we close the eyes and we take a moment before we move to the next exercise. Triangle pose. It's really downward dog. So the feet come to the back, hands come down. We find ourselves again in our downward dog position. We're taking long, deep breaths here. The palms of the hands and the soles of the feet are as flat as you can get them. Release the head and just breathe. Take your time, find what works. Again, it's okay if the heels don't come all the way to the floor. It's 
it's okay if you can't get your hips up as high as you'd like to. If you find this at all uncomfortable or difficult, option to sit and close your eyes and imagine yourself doing it perfectly. We are halfway there. Continuing to breathe deep. Feel free to release the head. Push into the hands, lift the hips higher. Trying at the same time to keep hands and feet flat on the ground. We have 15 seconds left. Now together, we take a deep inhale. Exhale. Now here we're instructed to apply more body which means we're squeezing the anus, the sex organs, and the navel sex. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze while you hold the breath out. Squeeze, squeeze as hard as you can. Very good. Release, deep inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Coming down onto the knees. We're gonna come down onto our bellies if I am not mistaken. Yep. For the next exercise. So we're down now on the belly, on the ground, okay? We're gonna move to bow pose. So we're lying on the stomach here. The hands grasp the ankles, pardon my sock. <laughs> so from here, we're lifting the chest as much as we can off the ground and the legs. For me, that's not gonna be very far, but you do what works for you. And we breathe slow and steady okay long deep breaths three two and one we're here for a minute now if you find that you can't wrap your hands around your ankles options to just lift the legs up and put your hands to the side that also works. And if you're finding that you can't possibly do this exercise at all, feel free, as stated previously, to sit on the ground in cross-leg pose, close your eyes, and imagine yourself doing it perfectly. We are more than halfway there. Fifteen seconds left. Beautiful, deep inhale. Now on the exhale, push your hands, or push the legs into the hands, raise yourself up. Push, 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 push. Exhale, beautiful. Making a pillow with your hands on the floor. We're just gonna slowly drop. I just lost my, there it is. Put your hand down, head facing forward and back. It's up to you. And we're just going to take a moment. Eyes closed. Excellent. Now we roll to our backs. So now tummy is up. All right. Lying down on the back. We're going to move to stretch pose. Now, stretch pose is a little bit of a challenge for a lot of people, including myself. The legs are out straight. The arms are down at the sides. And what we're actually doing is lifting our head and our feet six inches off the ground, pointing our hands towards our feet, okay? And this instruction here is to do breath of fire. Again, pregnant or menstruating, please just long deep breathing. Also, options. Lifting the hands off the ground and the head as much as you can. You can lift one leg at a time if you find that easier. Also, if you need to take a break, please do so. So let us begin in three, two, one. Hands come up off the floor, legs get lifted off the ground. Again, breath of fire. Inhale takes care of itself. On the exhale, 
We're pulling the belly button to the spine. Keep up. Do what you can. If you need to switch legs, one at a time. And again, if pregnant or menstruating, please long deep breathing. We are halfway there. seconds left. I've lost my... There we go. Almost done. Good. Deep inhale. Hold. Hold the pose. Exhale. Release down. Take a moment, close your eyes. Awesome work. Now for our next exercise, we're coming up to sit in rock pose. Rock pose is where we sit on our heels. Looks like this, okay? Now, for those of you that follow regularly, you know, that I have metal hips. So for me, sitting on the heels is not a fun experience for a variety of reasons. So I sit on my bolster, raises the hips a little bit, makes it a little bit more comfortable for me to spend a bit longer time in this pose. We sit nice and tall, and we're moving to spinal flex. So the hands are on the thighs. We inhale, chest comes forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, Exhale back. Sitting nice and tall. We begin in three, two, one. Now I'm breathing solely through my nose. That doesn't mean you have to. It's whatever works for you. Just as you inhale, chest comes forward. You're almost lifting the tailbone up in the back. There's a great big C in your back. And as we exhale, that C comes in the front. Halfway there. Fifteen seconds. Deep inhale, hold the breath, sit tall, and exhale. Now, for our next exercise, we're going to stay in rock pose. I'm going to turn to the side so it's a little bit easier for you to see. We're sitting in rock pose, and we're coming down, spreading the knees wide. Okay, so the knees are coming out nice and wide. It's almost like a glorified child's pose. So I'm going to remove my bolster for this one because we're not actually sitting. Knees are wide. The head comes down. Forehead comes to the floor. We're actually sitting with our belly hanging in between the legs. Take deep breaths here. Gentle inhales and exhales. We have 30 seconds left. Breathe deeply. Breathe into any parts that may feel uncomfortable. When he's, uh, sorry, how many seconds? 10 seconds left. Now we take a deep inhale all together. 
slowly walk the hands so we come back up. We come back down onto our backs again. As we move to what's called bundle roll. So in bundle roll, it's actually kind of fun. If you're able, I'm gonna move my timer and my trusty laptop out of the way here. Legs are straight, okay? Hands at the sides. Now the idea here is to actually roll your entire body front and back. If you can actually roll your body all the way over to one corner of the room, I'm kind of limited in space here, then you do it. Roll it with the legs out straight. Three, two, one. Rolling the body as much as you can, one way and the other. That's it, that's it. Roll, roll, Bundle roll. Try it. You'll like it. <laughs> Excellent. Now coming back to center, stretching right out. Deep inhale. Hold. Hold the breath. And exhale. Beautiful. Coming back up to a seated position. I'm coming back on the trusty bolster here. Legs are crossed. I'm going to cross and recross. There we go. Now for our next exercise, we move to what's called the seventh wave satnam meditation. Okay? Hands take yin mudra, first finger and thumb touching on the thighs. I'm going to sit back up to me here. Okay? We apply chin lock, which means we push the chin back. Eyes are closed. Now it sounds like this. We inhale deeply. And on the exhale, sa. Begin. So exercise in this Kriya is relaxation. Take a moment now to find yourself stretched out on the ground, arms down at the sides, palms face up or down if you find yourself more comfortable. I'm going to stay seated in easy pose just to hold space, virtual though it may be. Feel free to relax. If you have a blanket, use the blanket, cover yourself a sweater, your socks, Mine are over there. Whatever you feel comfortable with that will allow you to relax and let the beauty of the exercises that we just performed settle. Okay? Plus, 
It's always awesome to have a few minutes to just wait. Close your eyes and just be at peace for the next two minutes, not very long, two minutes. We will begin in five, four, three, two, Feel the shoulder blades melt into the earth. The feet are heavy. The arms cradled by the earth relax. The chest relaxes. Even all the hair on your head relaxes. You breathe deeply and calmly. slowly bringing awareness back into the room. Starting with small movements of fingers and toes. And now adding wrists and ankles, slowly turning in one direction. And now in the opposite direction as you lie on the ground. Beautiful. Interlacing the fingers, reach the arms up overhead, stretch the toes out in front. Stretch the body from one end of the room to the other. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Deep inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale, stretch, stretch, stretch. Point the toes. Exhale. Last time, deep inhale. Stretch the body. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And on the exhale, we release the arms out to the side as we're lying on the ground. Visual. Arms out, knees come up just below the bum. We're gonna drop both knees to the right, tilt the head towards the left side. Inhale deeply, right down to the tailbone. Beautiful, one more time, deep, deep inhale. Exhale, slowly transitioning the knees through the center now the knees turn to the left, the head rolls to the right. Same thing, big inhale. Imagine fresh energy, fresh prana going in through the nose and mouth, all the way down the spine to the tailbone. And exhale. One more time in. And exhale. Beautiful. Wrap the arms lovingly around the shins, gentle rock side to side. Little bit of a massage for the low back. Now two options here. One, rock and roll up and down on your spine five times to come to a seated position. Option number two, as I get to my fifth one, is roll to one side and using your arms as support, gently again coming up to a seated position on the mat. Okay. We find ourselves seated, again, in easy cross-leg pose. Again, suggesting 
Take a step past comfortable, try something new. I uncrossed and recrossed my legs. Now we're sitting tall with a straight spine. Our meditation today is on light. It's a Taratak meditation. Tratak, T-R-A-A-T-A-K, Tratak meditation. We're sitting nice and tall. We're cupping the hands with the fingers and thumbs together, almost like it's a little bowl. And we're holding at this at the position of the heart, at the level of the heart. Elbows are relaxed, we're breathing normally. And we close the eyes, and the focus behind closed eyes is at the brow point, in between the eyebrows and slightly above. We imagine that we're holding a candle, and the flame is actually burning right at the third eye, right in front of the brow point, between the eyebrows and at the root of the nose. Just imagine that candle burning there. Breathe deeply. Nice and tall. Continue to focus on that candle burning right at the third eye. Holding it in your hands at heart center. Now, imagine that you are the candle. You have become the candle. Sitting tall, burning bright. Continuing to breathe deeply. burns bright. Now imagine you are the flame of that candle. You are the flame burning brightly on the top of the candle. And tall, flowing in the breeze. You are the flame. Continuing to hold your hands in the cup as we focus on the fact that we are. a step back further we're imagining that we are the, the object of meditation and the one who is observing the meditation imagine yourself as being all those things you've seen yourself meditating from afar you see yourself in this position of holding the candle you also see yourself Deep inhale together. Filling chest and belly. And exhale. Another deep inhale. Hold the breath. Sit tall. And exhale. And last time, inhale deeply. Hold the breath. Exhale, releasing hands down to the thighs. Eyes remain closed. We just take a brief moment. Palms back together. Gentle rub. Settling them at the chest level. We close each kundalini class with a long time sun followed by a long sat 
short now. And as always, two full breaths before we begin. Inhale with me. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. And we inhale to begin. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you guide your way on. Guide your way on. Guide your way on. Excellent. Inhale deeply, long side, short now. So Taking a moment to ground yourself by bringing forehead and palms to the ground. Closing off the energy of today's practice. If bringing palms to the ground does not work for you, palms to the third eye, palms to the lips, palms to the heart. Satnam, my friends, thank you so much for joining me again today for another Kundalini by Candlelight. Please take a moment to like this video, hit the bell, subscribe, so that every week when I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. Please also leave me a comment. Let me know what you wanna work on. Let me know what interests you, what you'd like to see in a future broadcast. And please also note that on Thursdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time, this class and each class that you see on Kundalini by Candlelight at night is actually held live for free on Zoom. So you can come any Thursday morning on Zoom at 7 a.m. Eastern time and share energy with the Kundalini tribe and I. We would love to have you. Be safe, but I can't even speak today. Be safe, be strong, love and light, my friends. I'll see you next week for another Kundalini by Candlelight.